Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I finally got one of my favorite Wilson rackets from my past to try again. Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is Joshua from Indiana. Joshua writes, dude, you're awesome. Oh, thank you, Joshua. I just started playing tennis a few years ago, but have found it to be my favorite sport. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's a little addictive there. I get you. I try to play about two to three times a week as I am new. I have been able to catch up with the game significantly from your videos. In fact, my girlfriend or I have a tennis question. One of us will typically say, maybe the tennis spin guy made a video on it. Well, I have a lot of content on and I'm trying to answer every question there could be in the tennis industry. So I guess I am doing that. <laughs> thanks, Joshua. Um, thanks for what you do. Enjoy the cup of Joe. Also, how did buy me a coffee start? Uh, well, Joshua, that's an interesting thing. Uh, my producer, you know, the person that actually handles everything behind the scenes said, oh, there's a, an app uh, program called buy me a coffee. You are drinking a coffee every day exactly about when we film. So why don't we just, instead of doing like some of the other, you know, support the channel stuff, why don't you just have your fans buy you coffee? At least they could just, you know, give you something that you use every day. Well, as you guys know, I'm using this every day, every morning, maybe every afternoon. So it was just natural for me to ask everyone to buy me a coffee. So literally, you know, it was, I don't want to say a match made in paradise, but a match made in coffee. So that's kind of how it started. All right. Thank you, Joshua, for the question. Thank you for the cup of joe. If you guys want to support my coffee habit that runs every day, 365 a year, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Thank you for keeping the coffee train going. All right. All right. Hold on. They went back to Sumatra, so I'm loving it today. Man, I'm feeling amped today. All right, so racket from my past. This racket was only around for two years. The pros used this Pro Staff Classic, not the 6-1 classic that everybody thinks and was the top seller for like literally, I don't say 15, 20 years, um, but it was this mold. It's the Wilson Pro Staff Classic 4.2 in a 95, okay guys? So there's another racket that has this kind of color scheme and it says, you could see it on the other side, it actually says Wilson 95. And it says Pro Staff Classic 7.5. That's the one Steffi Graf used. And it converted into a white racket after a while. And she won some Grand Slams with it. But that's, this is not that racket. This is stiffer. This is the stiffer brother of 6.1 and 7.5. And lighter, from what I remember. So I finally got one in my hand. It's a classic four and a half, which is what we sold a ton of back in the day. And I'm literally talking about 25, 30 years ago. Yeah, damn. It's been that old. It's been that long. Uh, but I'm happy to get one. My man Dave DeLuca in LA has a ton of these, but I was never able to get a chance to borrow one from him to try it again. Um, although I did do weight and balance on his. But I'm super excited to try this again. I don't quite remember the numbers on these, so guess what? We are going to write it down and weigh it out and see what this thing 
weighs and balances at. I mean, I know this was customized to the hilt by the pros back in the day, but let's see what it is in stock form. Twelve three with the strings on. Three forty eight. Uh, still on the high side, I guess. Huh. I was never a six one fan. Um, it just didn't. The balance wasn't right for me. I'll move this over. Three o. Eight. 308 on the balance. All right, so let's check swing weight. All right, let's check the swing weight. Three oh seven. All right, let's take a quick look at the numbers. Four point two is their SI, which is their own stiffness index. Nothing to do with anything else in tennis, so it has nothing to do with RA or anything else. It's their own numbering system. So the higher the number, the softer the racket, the lower the number, the stiffer the racket. So 7.5 would be really soft, 6.1, pretty soft. This is pretty stiff for being a pro staff. That's probably why I liked it. So the overall weight, I actually enjoy that weight and it's okay stock actually. I probably needed to weigh it up back in the day, but I think that for me works well. Balance, eh, for me, pretty head light at 308. Swing weight, pretty head light also for, for what I like. But as you can see with these numbers, they're easily customizable. You can easily load up the lead under the head. You could definitely load up the lead under the handle to kind of counterbalance it. Three and nine works great on this racket. I mean, you could literally do a, a Pete Sampras thing and go lead and lead all the way around, and then you'd be fine with this. And then when you hit the ball, it, it's definitely a 4.2. So it's stiff, and it's a stiff 95. So you're gonna have that solid impact with a good amount of power on a 95 square inch head. That's probably why I enjoyed this so much. Um, but let's see how it feels. I just restrung this racket with head velocity 16 because I'm just trying to recreate what I felt back in the day. And then I re-gripped re it too because that grip was you know, done uh, <laughs> with head hydrosorb comfort. Okay, so let's go see if my Wilson man is available to hit with me today. Stay tuned. All right, so we just got off the court. I haven't hit with one of these in a while. Like we're talking 15, 20 years. Um, I'll let you go first, Coach Rob, go for it. It was fun uh, for sure, putting this back in my hands, hitting with it. Um, I had the 6-1 uh, the back in the day, so um, the 4-2 is a little bit stiffer and uh, really loved it. Again, playing with it, the weight was great. Um, then finally, you know, using a 95 again, can't even find 95s nowadays. 
can you? I don't no, think so, right? No. Like, his 97 is like the small. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, it felt good. The weight was great. The balance was good. The, it, the, the pocketing was great. It just, it's a pro staff. What can I say? <laughs> so this is, here's the thing. This one's lighter than the 6195. So a lot of the pros actually use this one instead because it was e more easily customizable. Mm. So they could add weight wherever they wanted to in the handle, in, you know, in underneath the, the top, um, you know, within the racket itself to, to weight and balance it however they'd like. So it started off on the lighter side. Hmm. But as you probably felt on the court, this is stiffer. Right. Right. Yeah. And, and I thought this is smoother. Like it had that same smooth kind of a swing path because the racket had a better balance than a 6.1 right. did. Because that thing was, remember a 6.1 was 11.7, right? right? This isn't that heavy. Right. This is not that heavy. And then when you hit it, the racket was stiff. It stiffened up versus right. a heavy flex from a 6.1. Gotcha. So. I got to go find one, an old 6.1. <laughs> We, maybe that's a video. We there should we do go. that. Six one versus four <laughs> two. two. And then, do you remember there was one more? Seven seven two two maybe. The Steffi Graf seven two, okay. but it looked just like this. The color right. scheme was just like this. If you saw it just in this way, you, you could actually one. think it's a seven two mm -hmm. until you flip it over and it says four two there. Got it. So Steffi Graf had a one just like this too. I think it was a seven two. I'm pretty sure seven one seven two but very flexible on that particular one. Um, but yeah, super enjoyable. It's less, feels like home. It was definitely home. <laughs> Wanna thank Coach Rob for hanging out with me today. And, you know, we treated him to a Wilson today, something that he loves to do. Thank you, Coach Rob. Of course. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Uh, is this on? Harry, Harry, what are we doing here? Oh, hey bud. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, so I'm just setting up my swing vision over here so that during our hitting session, uh, we can, you know, see how bad I'm doing today. Okay, great. Yeah. But you won't be doing bad, Harry. No. You'll I'm... be moving your feet watching the ball. This, this is why I love you, buddy. <laughs>